Hi, my name is John Ney. I'm a PhD student in Environmental Management and Policy at Vanderbilt University. I'm also a fellow of the Vanderbilt Institute for Energy and Environment. I apply theory and methods from behavioral economics, behavioral political science, and artificial intelligence to develop and test empirical models of human decision making about investments into goods that have significant positive and negative externalities. These are investment decisions where traditional models often do not suffice for policy analysis. I apply these models of decision making to environmental and development policy problems. I am working on two primary projects right now. One is studying investments in public goods in coastal Bangladesh, an instance of positive externalities. The other project is studying investments in risky real estate because of environmental problems. This is an instance of negative externalities. As an undergraduate at the University of Virginia, I studied environmental policy. I conducted my senior thesis project on climate adaptation policies that are feasible within the current political framework. My goal was to help develop policies that are both grounded in rigorous scientific research and politically feasible. In order to better understand what makes a policy feasible, before beginning graduate school, I worked in political and policy positions in Washington, D.C. I interned for the majority leader of the U.S. House of Representatives, where I was able to see the legislative process firsthand. I also worked at an environmental policy strategy firm. Finally, I conducted research on climate adaptation policy in the United States and in Bangladesh. In fact, the reason I decided to come to Vanderbilt was so I could continue the research that I was already conducting on Bangladesh. I was able to come here and be part of an exciting multidisciplinary project from day one. This is a large project involving about 20 different researchers from engineering, social science, and environmental sciences. We're studying how environmental and social changes in coastal Bangladesh affect community and regional resilience with a particular focus on decision making, collective action, people's livelihoods, and whether they're going to migrate or not. Consistent access to safe drinking water is a serious problem for most people living in coastal Bangladesh. During the monsoon, there's abundant rainwater that can potentially be harvested for about three months. But during the dry season, there's very little rain. Because much of the groundwater is saline, tube wells can be an unhelpful solution. Pond sand filters that treat surface water are a widely implemented alternative, but usually not well maintained, leaving many people to rely on unfiltered surface water. Research on the human factors of the success or failure of community-managed infrastructure projects is lacking, and consequently significant amounts of development aid are likely spent inefficiently. Our nonprofit and research partners are constructing managed aquifer recharge systems in 100 communities throughout coastal Bangladesh in conducting hydrogeological action research on those systems. Compared to alternative safe water sources available, these systems are more cost effective, less prone to drought, and more cyclone resistant. The systems, being implemented for the first time in Bangladesh, inject rainwater and filtered surface water into aquifers where it is stored. The water can then be abstracted with hand pumps and used for drinking and cooking provided that the infrastructure is maintained. My research experimentally investigates the effects of individuals' decision processes and preferences and the local policies and marketing strategies we employ on collective action to maintain the system. The shared water system is a public good. That is, no one can be excluded from consuming it. In the absence of government provision or well-defined property rights and assuming rational self-interested actors, Public goods should not exist. However, community investments in public goods, such as drinking water and irrigation infrastructure, are essential for the sustainability of rural areas in developing countries. Insights from this study should be applicable to other community-level public goods investments and development projects. The methods this project uses are randomized controlled trials, economic games in the field, household surveys, and agent-based computational models and simulations. In addition to constituting the behavioral and social science component of this action research, 
This project contributes to the Integrated Social Environmental Engineering Bangladesh Research Program by collecting new types of data and testing hypotheses regarding trust, social cohesion, and collective action. This project also has integrated hydrology, geology, and remote sensing studies to improve our understanding of the physical context in which collective action decisions are made, which is particularly important in a region prone to cyclones, floods, sea level rise, water logging, and salinity intrusion. Over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to present my research in Berkeley, California, Dhaka, Bangladesh, and here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm excited now to continue these policy-relevant research projects over the course of the next few years.